It's like this huge glare for me. Because I, I can't see, see anything over here. What the hell are you going to need to see over here? You need to know that this is from 10th. Oh, oh, no. Well, you're going to like, like click, click on it, right? Uh, I can't. I mean, I can't see it, but no. that's good. <laughs> I don't need to see this shit. Alright. So. I'm gonna, you're the cameraman. I'm going to need you to do the countdown. You know how that goes? Okay. You, you've never seen anybody do that? I'm pretty sure I know, but I want you Back everyone, I'm Steve, and I'm Brock, and this is Beyond 100. So today we're going to be doing another one of our commander lists. Is it commanderable? Uh, this time we're going to be going over the black generals in the mono black commanders. We're going to kick this off right away in alphabetic order with Akuda, born of ash. The name sounds awesome. Yeah, it looks like it could be cool, but that's kind of where that ends. Yeah. The card is not, I mean, the the trigger is neat. You can do a lot of tricks with it. You can keep bringing it back. It's a recursive thing, but there's better, yeah, there's better recursive things cheaper in mono black. Yeah, you're going to lose swamps every turn for having this guy. You're not guaranteed to play swamps every turn unless you're playing the worst Liliana. And you need uh, more cards in your hand than each opponent. Yeah, not worth it. Next. And one. Uh, Vampire Tribal, I think, mm -hmm. is actually really good, and N1 is the guy that you want for Vampire Tribal. It, it, mm, yeah. I, it, there, I mean, you could play, you could play, uh, the other dude. No, 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 I just had to, like, reread it, because I was like, you could stack Grave Pact effects then. Yeah. So you, not even just that, you could just make it, like, a, a sacrifice deck. So nobody has anything. But, yep. Yeah. Ascend an even car, sadly, is not commanderable. Not as good as his white version. Yeah, but still, so much love for him. Yeah. I love Krovax. I think that super, even more super evil Krovax is incredibly awesome. <laughs> which is why I loved it when he became good guy Krovax. Cool. Real good guy. Yeah. Krovax. Nice. And we got Ashling the Extinguisher. No. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I want other Ash. Yeah, it's not even as good as like let's say other Ashling, which isn't even that good. Falcon of Filer, however, I feel is. Uh, I really like Thalthor. It's a nice reanimation card. You remove from the game, so then you put him in your yeah. command zone. Uh, and then you get back all your creatures from your graveyard. I mean, hey, he's a dwarf. Uh, it's so it, good. It's weird that he also gets back red creatures. So that's, yeah, that's like a relevant thing for you to know. If you're playing tag team commander, that's... Yeah, if you are, then, then yeah, by all means. But, like, you're going to help. Probably, Somebody else yeah, table, most likely. Which may not be good. Uh, Aaron Sangir. If you want to go for that flavor general. Yeah, this guy is only a flavor general. He does get plus two, plus two counter, and not uh, not plus one, plus one counter, or or not two plus one, plus one counter. Yeah, that that still doesn't help make him any good. He does regenerate vampires. He costs eight. <laughs> he costs eight. That's that's the more funny part. For a five five. I want, you, we can't play braids anyway, so you're fine. Oh yeah, man. Alright. <laughs> Cabal Patriarch. This guy is... This is, this this is, is like, another one I really want to be a commander. Uh -huh. Not at all. This is like uh, the Phyrexian dude that like sacrifice creatures to give me one and one. Yeah, Plague Lord. Not, he's, but he's sadly not Plague Lord. Yeah, he's... Mm -hmm. every, time I, every time I see this guy, I'm like, I want to make you a commander so bad, but I want all of the text on your card to be different. Yeah. I want you to do more. I want you to do way more. Cow cow. Lord of Way. No. Two, did, making one player discard two cards is not enough. This card was very clearly printed back when that effect seemed more powerful than it actually was. Well, yeah. And you're stuck before attackers are declared. Yeah. On your turn. So many limitations. Yeah, I mean, even if you're just running a bunch of untap effects, like, it's still not as good. Yeah. No. Man, it's a 3-3 three, three for unblockable 4, man. It's so good you have to lose life when it comes in. Commander text. Chainer, on the other hand. Ch oh my god. You're losing life for a reason. Chainer is so good, I would lose more life. 
You could make that, you could increase that life payment so like by a lot. 39 and a half. <laughs> Sometimes worth it. He is so often so good. Uh, and it's almost never relevant the when he dies, remove all your nightmares. Because 90% of the time, you're going to have a sack well, outlet. You can play, uh, you mentioned it last time, just making them all rats with, uh, cons- conspiracy, is it? Yeah, you just like, you, you do that. You can play cards like that to even get, get around the spec. And it's a creature card from a graveyard. If you really want to be unfun, you put that, you know, well, we'll talk about this later, but you put it in a blue black deck, and then you donate the conspiracy over to somebody else, Mm-mm. and then Thanks. flush away all their creatures. Kevin, I want you to be playable. So he's got fear. But you he's a 7-5 seven seven with fear. That requires you to feed another creature to him. No. Otherwise he'll eat himself. No, no. The dude's huge, but Krovax hurt. Again, it's Krovax. I really want Krovax to be that. something. But he's so bad. He's a, oh, I thought he was a 0 no, 9 for a, a second. No, no, I thought he was 0 9 for a second. I was like, why is he a 0 9? No, he's a 4 4 <laughs> that requires you to feed him more. And if you don't, you know, he gets, if you do, he gets bigger. If you don't, he's right. smaller. He's, he's Black Ryback. He injures all the people that work with him. And when there's no one else around for him to work with, he injures himself because he starts talking. Yeah. So you don't know, know who Ryback is. Look all right, Drana. Baby Mama Drana. Drana is. Another good, almost commander. Ooh, she is so good. It's well because it's repeatable removal. Yeah, and it's it's an eight X. My problem is after about the second or third casting, you don't really yeah. want to cast her again because you're in that position where you're like, well, it's going to take all my mana, and then I can't kill something. Yeah. The first time, it feels amazing because you put her out there. You're likely to have a little bit extra mana left over to kill something. But after the first time, it just it's well, incrementally more painful. I think to me, mono black is like other than green because green, but uh, mono black is like the other color that just makes shit tons of mana for no reason. Is it true you do have cabal coffers? You do have you, a lot Vesuva of play, for cabal coffers. Yeah. You do have Thesme stage for cabal coffers. A lot like, of people play all the artifacts to ramp. Deserted so, temple for cabal I'll, coffers. I'll, I'll, <laughs> yield it a little, I'll, I'll yield a little more to be. Yeah. She is a lot closer to being a fan. The only problem is she doesn't have protection. Yeah, but she does. I mean, if you can put boots on her, but that's it. Yeah, if it, she gets in with a with an unblocked attack, your opponent is going to be on tilt. Well, yeah, so but you, you could just dump all your mana and kill like a zero one and make it neg like twenty. Yeah. So, you, so you can overkill and then kill somebody with general damage, which is nice. But that's all it is. Is nice. We found out that <laughs> this is sucks. extra relevant because we talked about conspiracy. Uh, thanks to our buddy Pete who watches the uh, the show. Hi, Pete. <laughs> uh, Endrick. And conspiracy is pretty awesome. Yeah, he made them all rats. That's and so... then he had, a, he had a whole rat tribal sub theme going on. Yeah, for no reason. <laughs> I thought it was great. Uh, shout out, shout that, out again to Pete. Yeah, that, that was a really good deck idea. That uh, is synergy. Was, by the way, Pete, because I would like to post it up uh, and talk about it maybe in, a, in an episode. Nope. Um, it, no, it, yeah, it was. Yeah, it, it's synergistic, which is what I like. So yeah, you can build Edrixar and be very synergistic. And you don't really even need the conspiracy. Even sans the conspiracy, this guy was still putting it in work. Yeah. Well, I mean, he makes tokens that feed to other random stuff, which is nice. Era, era. Erebos, I'm not sold on being the commander. I'm sold on him. I, I don't feel he, he has that reach like the other gods do. Like, his effect is your opponents can't gain life. It does, it does mean they have to try to find a way to remove him because mm-hmm. he's indestructible. And you do get to draw the card. It puts a clock on the game. So much mana to draw the card. It's really hard to turn them on. I mean, but, but that's like... He's a zombie-like creature, and they don't tend to be turned on as easily. Oh, quite you. He's a 5-7, which is huge, but the, the, the toughness isn't relevant because he's indestructible. Right. But the thing is that, like, I would rather have the greed that costs one extra mana all the time than the greed that I might have one out of every three games. Uh, you, you're turning me a little more. I mean, I feel, Plus, again, again we're in mono black, so you are going to have just random amounts of mana. Yeah, I, I feel, again, I feel like all, all the gods are, yeah. are commanderable. Well, I just don't feel he is as good a mm-hmm. choice overall. I think he's barely good, but with the life, the non-life gain ability on him, it puts a clock on the game, which is really nice, which I think that makes him really good. 
No, Sometimes you want a five five for uh, for five with trample. Which it, it has trample, this, which in one game turned out to be way more relevant than it should have been so, ever. So you can play this in a suicide deck, right? I guess if you need to get to that one life for the card, you can't play because you're not playing white. That's Shadow, right? And you got Geth. Geth is really good because yeah. he he's one of those cards that like he's good, and you don't need another card to make him good because you, you can just once there's an artifact or a smaller creature, you can just like keep feeding it. Yep. Because you mill again, and then you get more free stuff. It takes soul rings. His own. Mm. And that's what every man wants in a commander. A guy who makes their own food, right? Whatever. He's a zombie for some reason. Okay, cool call, Gisa. I like how you, I don't understand this flavor-wise, but, like, you can sacrifice a zombie to make two zombies. So she, like, rips them in half, and then they're, like, still a two-twos. <laughs> And then you can rip those in half, and you can get still two twos. Well, because when you pull their arms off, they're still like <laughs> arms that can move around. But like... I like her because she she's a general that is a sack outlet, which it's not a like at any time because it is a tap ability. But she can just like make a bunch of zombies. I I don't like her, but I don't think she's not commanderable. I feel like she is commanderable. You can do a lot of interesting and fun things. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's ever really going to be competitive. This is the kind of deck you play because you want to do weird and kind of you want to you make an army of zombies. Yeah, but you don't build this deck because you expect to be able to be dominated. Oh yeah, she's Flavor Town. If anything, yeah. like like she's from a block and she's like a character that was like barely mentioned but got like screen time because zombies were a big part of the block. Right. My only problem is where's the Riza? Where's the Ghostface Killer? Okay. Grand, oh, grand, sing grandmother's sing gear. I want, this is another one of those cards. I want the text on this card to say anything else. Because I want, I want to play. <laughs> just, just to say, this is my granny deck. What? Granny's coming to town. What is this card? <laughs> I've never seen this card before. I, I want, hold on. I want to play this as a general so everybody can know that this card exists. <laughs> Look at that hair. She, uh, yeah, yeah. This is the ultimate magic granny. This is the kind of card that you play, and your wait. opponent goes, "The hell are you playing?" Wait, I just realized what what, her, what her, the flavor behind her ability is. She she, she does she like she does this. <laughs> um, the biggest, the worst part is they're not even mindful of my counter. Yeah. Uh, Greel. Greel is at random. Greel is, is really it? good. Oh. Greel is really good. You lose some card advantage because it takes two cards to activate. Well, this card, yeah. But, but if it, you are buying yourself your opponent just being in a, in a yeah. world of hurt. And there's a difference between black and other colors discarding cards because black has so many recursive things, reassembling skeleton for the cheaper things, grave color, and then, and the like. Yeah, you're feeding cards to a zone that you're already going to want to be in. Yeah. Well, taking out the blue player's hand. Well, yeah, and it's repeatable, so you can just, like, point at every single person at the table until yep. they don't have a hand, which is nice. Very, very good. Yeah, I like him. Bam! Chris, not allowed. As not playable. <laughs> Funny! You can play it. In fact, I would say this card is commanderable if you want to play 99 card singleton. Evil hungers. I have a, car. a disinterest for this card because it takes spirits to feed it. That's spirit it, tribal, your favorite it's thing. It's a three two flyer. Yeah, soul shift. Yeah, and there's not I forget what I, I forget. Yeah, I forget. Not a black spirit that you really want to be pulled back. I forget to. specifically what soul shift does, but all I know is it gets things back from your graveyard. Not nearly enough. That's what it does. All right. We have Hirobi. Hirobi's one of the decks that I always want to make, just because you can play so many bad cards in that deck, and it'll be amazing. Like, Puppet Strings, just because it targets something. You can play, uh, there's like, random uh, artifacts from Mirrodin that are like, one mana, and have Flash, like Dragon Scale and Dragon Fang, that like, target creature gets plus O plus 1, and plus 1 plus O. So like, you just flash it in and just start targeting things. That part is you can't protect them. Yeah, yeah, you can't protect them at all, but also, uh, uh, but he's a 4-4 four, four flyer for 4. Doesn't he stop equipment? Yep. yep. So yeah, he does also stop equipment, which is nice. And ours. 
Well, sometimes. Hythonia. This is easily. There's my Gorgon Cro Gorgon Tribal. I like. First of all, I love the flavor of this card. I love the flavor. Here we have the Gorgon that everybody looks on her. She's she's big. She's badass. She comes out. Mm -hmm. You give her a turn. Maybe you don't even give her a turn. You make her this big monstrous Gorgon, and everything else is just immediately stoned. Nope. Not like. Not like biblically stoned, right? Not like yes. Okay. <laughs> well, turn to stone, <laughs> okay. except for those things that either can't be turned to stone mm -hmm. or are too are indestructible and could not be turned to stone yeah. the other way. Anyway, <laughs> next card. Ishan Shade. No, he's the, he's the racist one. Legendary. He's the racist one. Iname. I actually really like this card as commander. Mm -hmm. It is six mana. It fills your deck with a bunch of cards that might be useful for reanimation. Um, it's still a four four. The only thing I actually think I don't like about this card is the lack of flying. Yeah, I was, I was about to say like like it looks like he should be flying. Yeah, if it flew, it would be slam dunk. Because amazing card. Block with him and then yeah. replay him, or well, I guess it's any numbers. You don't the first time's enough. Otherwise, obviously, this guy drank a Red Bull. He got wings that did nothing for him. Yep, just like real work. I hope you look for rings after doing your Red Bull. Anyway, I replaced him. This guy is not so great. Yeah. He's he's fun, but... This is the kind of card you have put in the decks for spirits. I, I would say, if you really wanted to go there, if you really wanted to work hard and you wanted to make mono-black spirit arcane tribal... This is the card that you would play. Mm -hmm. The hard part is, first of all, it's target player, so you have to guess right. Mm -hmm. And then, second of all, it has to be the right color. You don't have telepathy this route. You don't well, have other cards that you see your opponent's hand. It does have to be the same CMC. Right. So you, but if you had telepathy, you could see you yeah, could point to the people if you wanted to, but you don't have telepathy because you're a mono yeah. blue. It is still a 3 3 for 4 flyer, which makes it a solid commander. All in all, I'd put this on that, like, almost level, maybe even slightly in the commander I, region myself. I put it at unplayable as a commander, but probably one of the better cards in a deck, in in the deck, okay. for for an, for an effect like this. I'd say that's fair. If you're playing, like, an army, this would be a kind Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just dump them, and then that's one of those random them. things that you need. Ink Eyes. Yep. Ink Eyes <clears> is commanderable. Uh... Even take the ninjutsu off the card. Okay, if okay. this card said exactly what it said, that card is fully commanderable. And it's got regenerate, which is really nice, especially on a, a, a way to. It's like protection for your general that isn't hex proof. Yeah, and you get an extra value if somebody harms by the damage back at you. <laughs> is it really to player? It's combat damage to a player. Yep. Oh, the Sangir. Arini Sangir, not a playable commander. Nope, never. Uh. Plus, I love her effect. I really do love her effect. Uh, I wanted to play. I played a lot of it when I was younger as a anti card. Um, Rocco has specific opinions about her, but they're not important to whether or not the card is playable. Yeah. So we'll move on. Uh, these cards they hurt my brain. Kagamaru, first to suffer. Yep. This guy is playable. He is. He is a wrath effect that you can continuously use, which is nice. Yep. He is like a control dex go-to guy. Kinda. And it's Nagex Nagex, so not yep. only is so it wrath, it gets around indestructible. Yep. Um, you do have to keep your hand full, which for black can sometimes be a little difficult, so yeah. might cost you some life to do it, but easily. Well, well it's kind of like it's it's like the zero to sixty with black though. It's like either you're starving for cards or you don't really. You're just like throwing cards in the air because like make it rain. Yeah, because you're like necroing for twenty or you're using greed like crazy. But I like him. Kalitas, I don't feel this is a commander. No. So it's very expensive. It's seven mana for a five five. The ability is relevant. After a turn, because you're really not going to wait till turn 10 yeah. to put this guy out. He doesn't have evasion. And then the kill on the thing doesn't really do a whole lot. I mean, it puts a. He's repeatable removal, but that's something you might want in a card in the deck, not necessarily the general. Yeah. 
It, now, if he brought that creature back as a vampire, that'd be pretty wow. nice. Yeah. Uh, Kiku, I I like Kiku. You'd have to build the deck. Yeah, I. This is a card where. Is there a way to give all creatures death touch? It's a lot of fun. But when they touch themselves, they die. <laughs> yeah. Just for the lull, that would be incredible. <laughs> it's, no, it's just like the. Ah, uh, oh man, I forgot his name. Hirobi. It's just like Hirobi. Like, I want to build the deck for the lulls, right? Like, <laughs> In my opinion, this card is more about the art than it is about the card itself. And about the flavor. The mm-hmm. flavor's a great, it's got great flavor in it. Uh, it's got good art. Um, yep. I love that it's a great perspective shot, and the guy took a lot of time to make yeah. it perspective. Yeah, very, it's very pretty. Uh, at the end of the day, though, don't know if this is really a commander. Um, I put it in the vein of, like, if you can make the deck work, it'd be pretty fun to watch it happen. Also, it's Assassin, so, like, you can make Assassin Tribal. Which, which isn't a thing. I tr- trust me, I checked. <laughs> I don't feel this is a commander either. Um, it's so uh, much. It's a two, three for four. No evasion. Needs to be you, like you need no a, evasion. Yeah, you need to, well. You need to find a way to tap him, which like isn't in those colors. No. Other than attacking him, yeah, he's too small for that. No. Yes. No, 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 I mean, oh. I, I'm pretty sure oh. he's banned. Is he banned? No, no. no he, oh, is he not, he's not banned? No, he, oh, yeah, he got unbanned. I forgot, I, yeah, yeah. I forgot all about that. No, no Coco Puffs is, unlike uh, Kaiga, is incredibly well, good as a general. All you want to do is cast the first turn. All you want to do is kill it and get it back and then kill it and get it back. <laughs> That's the game plan with this card. That's the whole game plan and you're in the easiest colors Yeah. Yeah, and you have, like, infinite, like, good sack outlets. Clash. Very good, actually. This is where I'm going to give a shout out to Dave, even though I'm pretty sure he doesn't watch the series. Mm-hmm. Dave showed me that Corlash is a little more relevant than, than people might think, largely because ni- a permanent nightmare that, that's really hard to kill is always mm-hmm. going to be that pressure. You need a mass removal spell or a, a spot removal spell that gets rid of regenerate creatures that can regenerate. Yeah. And that can be really, really hard to do. It's not like you're ever going to get the grandeur off, but still amazingly good yeah, card. Yeah. Nope. Oh, or, or, is it? Yeah. Oh, no, I thought, I, thought it, I thought it was the no, other way. No, that's the one that flips into stacking creatures. It, it flips into uh, grave pack, right? Right. No, no, no. This is Three, each player's the guy that oh, makes no. everybody stack creatures. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's Soren's ultimate. Yeah. Uh, this guy is very difficult to get flipped, mm-hmm. but if you can do it, I really like the fact that he's just on and he's good the whole time. And it's an enchantment, so it's a lot harder to get rid of. It's going to sit out and there. And it's your general, so if they get rid of it, you just get it back. Yep. And you're playing black. And it's all about, and the only, all you have to do is flip them is kill three creatures, which you do by casting a piece of, uh, or a mass removal or yep. a handful of other cards. I, I really. Hex becomes a card at that point. I really like him because, yep. like, he could be a very good control general. Yep. He also poses, uh, Voltron decks. Yep. Koro! Hey, this goes with the uh, suicide deck. I think Koro is really good as a as a commander, largely because again he's like a you know he's a minigun. It's just like yeah. if you've got the blood to spare, I've got the death I'll give you. Mm-hmm. Um, the cumulative up keeps a little bit rough at four, um, but if you mix him in with a deck that's playing devotion mm-hmm. or similar effects, you're gonna get good value out of a guy who's got a triple five yeah. mana cost. And it's still by itself a nine nine. You're getting a nine nine for nine, so you get yeah, a total pack. Pretty, pretty much nothing stuff. standing in in front of him that doesn't have hex proof. Yeah. Which is kinda nice. I mean he's he's not like uh, what uh, eleven if he was eleven power, then he would be really good because he would only take two swings to kill somebody, but it still takes three. But if you can find a way to supplement the the mass life loss that you're gonna use through his ability, it's gonna be great. Yeah. Kyoko Sanity's Egg! Kyoki Sanity's Eclipse. Uh, this is good. Yeah, it's weird though. Um, it is another one of those like Spirit Arcane tribal things, uh, but it is removed the card. I like this a lot better than the four mana guy. Really? Yeah, because it, 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 sure they get to choose, but at least you're always hitting a card and it's exiled. So like, even if like they had two cards in their hand, 
they're not using one of them for the rest of the game. And it's a six four. I mean, I can. I, he's, yeah. He's definitely a beater. Now, I still don't think that Spirit Arcane decks are a thing, but if they were, this would be one of the guys that I think you could use. That takes it to Lindul the Necromancer. I have seen him as a general. He's definitely playable. He's definitely abusable too, which is the part I don't like about him. Oh man, this dude an attrition. <laughs> you can kill him and then get him back, and he's uh. Oh, right. No, you can't get him back. Gotta be no, well, no, I'm an, uh. That's why. No, you you kill like one like I'm done with your creature. I'm gonna take yours. Like, uh, and they he regenerates them, so like you can even help with that. He, he himself doesn't have any kind of protection, but at 7 mana, that also is kind of like hindrance. Not Dumaga, Trade of the Mortals. But. This guy, I really, really like. Mm -hmm. I, this is the kind of card where you get to have whatever size guy you want, when you want him, and you're gonna, you're gonna cause somebody life loss. The problem is, it's target play. Mm -hmm. I feel like this card would have been really good, exceptionally good, if it was all play. Yeah, I think he would be really good if he'd be oppressively, like, it would just be like, when is he going to use his general? Like, and you're in, like, mono black that just quadruples its mana out of nowhere. Yeah. But it isn't even, like, life gain, too, so you can't even do it, like, you, you can't do it and then, like, not die. The you're next just turn. getting that hit off. Yeah. Here comes uh, the card I was talking about earlier. Uh, combo. I think that this card is actually better than a two-color deck. I think it's, it is still good. Mm -hmm. The problem is you give, again, it's another one of those cards, you give your opponents the ability to get yeah. what they need first, which usually means that she's not going to live. She's going to be dead. Yeah. Uh, and usually they're going to get value on top of it because they're going to something kills her and does a few other things yeah. at the same time. Like, and if you give that to another player, like if they, if, if it's a combo player that you're yeah. the next person up, you just lose and you can't like, this is one of the cards that are like, it's, it would be good if this wasn't the general, but this is an effect you want all the time. Yeah. It's nice that she's cheap. And two color again, if you can play the ability to have Stranglehold out, mm. she's amazing. Big rats. This guy is really good. If you're playing, like, simply giving all your rats here, he's. Your rats are very good. scary. Uh, then he also still puts rats into play. And yeah. there are a number of rat cards that just mm -hmm. feed rats. Like conspiracy. Like conspiracy, if you really want to go there. This you don't even need to go that route, but that's that is. This guy doesn't even have the uh, the Gissa problem of like tearing the zombies in half. You could just you sack one rat and you get one rat. Like the. <laughs> but I like him, especially because you can uh, do his untap effect, or you can do untap effects. Micaeus is commander. Yes, he's uh, very, very. Remember. I feel like realistically, you should play somebody better, and then have Macias in your deck, especially because you're in the tutor mode. Mm -hmm. Get you whatever you want. Yeah. You want. So he's much better served to be found when you need him mm -hmm. with the guy you really want on demand. But yeah. he's still a good commander even by himself. Even if you took away that and you didn't want to play that, and you really wanted to be like, I want my zombie cleric yeah, instead of my team. I was gonna say he makes a good zombie tribal. Yeah. Like. He pumps your team in on dying. And kills humans if they have to attack. Well, not even attack, they just kill damage. So, so Paravik, Paravik kills him. Or the other way around. Mary, this is another one of those flavor ones. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. She has flying in first strike and hate. Mm -hmm. So I feel like she actually is better than people think, but still not good enough. Yeah. Like, if you could get her effect rolling, then she'd be kind of scary, but like, her effect triggers once she's a 4-3, which isn't that hard to kill. Right. Or, no. Oh, I mean, man, we're back to killing flies, ourselves. So At least that's flying. That is true. At least it flies. This is from other lights, so that's a problem. Uh, it's no, Myojin. It's Myojin. Uh, you sadly, can't play those. 5 twos for 7, are, or 5 twos for 8 are terrible that don't fly. Yeah, and also don't have indestructible because they don't have the divinity counters. Still a good card in a non like Neogen deck. Neferok. I like this guy's commander, largely from the that flavor perspective of just I'm a big I'm a big ugly de uh, ugly demon guy that's coming to your house yeah. and killing your kids when I do it. I uh 
I'm not sold on the flavor of this guy, just because he's like all sorts of wrong. Like he he's from Grixis and he has exalted. Like and then on top of it, like why is it when he attacks alone, I ha like defending player sacrifices a creature? That's that makes per in my opinion that all makes perfect sense. First of all, he's from Grixis post the unification. So he just happens to have exalted. Yeah, exalted because he's from these places being unified. Mm -hmm. Grixis isn't just a place with three colors of mana. It's a place with five colors of mana. Mm -hmm. So he has exalted because he's been touched by exalted. Mm -hmm. Then his ability is alone because he's still exalted. So he's still getting in there. He's got to go in by himself. Well, yeah, the effects work together. He's, he's sneaking in there through your kid's window. How is he sneaking? And I'm done. No, no, no. You, no, you're not even... Expo no. no, next card. Uh, nope. nope. Can't. That is the kind of a good card, but obvious. <laughs> not commander. But he's he's good in green black. He's one of those cards that's like he's very good, just not in his colors. Yeah. As mono black, not good enough. This one, on the other hand, is kind of nice because, like, man, sometimes people just forget, yeah. and they take ten. Yeah. And as a 4-4 Trampler... And they have to sacrifice. ...that pumps. He is 4-4 Flying and Trampler. And another creature, not just your opponent's creature. Right. You just toss your shit in the garbage. <laughs> yeah. And then you kill somebody with it. Oh, you can't search? Oh, well, let me take advantage of that. Yeah. In fact, you could play him with uh, the other chick that says that they have to search. <laughs> so they take, like, 13 every turn. Oh, that'd be awesome. Patron of the Zoomy. Not yeah, honestly. If you're gonna if you're gonna play something that's gonna be rat tribal, mm -hmm. this is not the card you want to yeah, play. No, the rat it's... Tribal card. You want to play this in the rat tribal yeah, deck? Yeah, because it would be nice to like you know force your opponent to either. It's one of those effects. Like it's like the blood artist thing, where it's like if they block, they're dead. If they don't block, they're dead. You know. But not not as a general. Age is the unwinnable. Nah, you can no no no. I think that you're playing the tutor colors. You you can tutor up Torpor and the Sundial to not oh die. My God. To not die. No, it's not. It's not. You're playing black. You have like five or six different tutors, so you're playing ten of a card. Except that you then have you then let four players have priority to either counter her what? or destroy. <laughs> All I'm saying is if that I think she's dream, playable. If you want to it's not to living the dream. dream. It's just being synergistic. If you put this card into play, living the dream what you're would... gonna do is you're gonna be like, I did it, guys. I got Phage into play, <laughs> now watch me swing with it and have it die because it has no evasion. No, 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 that would be the dream, though. The, no, the dream is having, like, Rogue's Passage and then Lightning Greaves in play. You're talking about, you're, you are not even dreaming anymore. You are having mana. I'm having, like, yes. 13 mana. And you're having the fantasy that there are just ladies all around you. No, no, not, not ladies, just lady, just one. I only want the one. I don't want her anywhere near me. Look, I, I can look, I just can't touch. Look, when she shows up at your house, if she didn't come from the right place, you're dead. Yeah, but, like, honestly, if she does damage to somebody, they lose. Also, I didn't know she was from Conspiracy. Like, I didn't know they were from that. Either way, I like her. Barrage of Urborg. First strike went attacking. Yeah. Uh, no. I mean... Mm. Uh, it starts as a 2-3, which isn't enough. It, it has the same problem Miri does. It can get bigger, but as, a, as having that small power and toughness... Mm -hmm. What's its creature type? Uh, it's a cat. Is it? Yeah. No, Scarmaker is... It, is it? Oh, no, nope. it's not. It's bugged out. on. He is a pressure deck. Yeah. He makes players play faster, and it's so, it's, it's a lot, it, at first, when you play against this card, you don't think that it's going to hurt as much. You're like, oh, I'll sign and blood every turn, that's great. Right. Players will let this card sit around for a lot longer but than once, they should. But, but when they go, go, like, turn, uh, turn to Howling Mind, into the triple black, take a damage when you draw cards, into the other effect that does that, and then into him, like, and everybody's taking, like, five, six a turn. It, it puts a clock on the game pretty quickly. Yeah. It lets you play mono black Nekusar. Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, actually, the mono black version of Nekusar works a little better because you don't have to worry about mana inconsistencies. Shaku is a card that I. This is another one of those cards I like for Ooh. flavor reasons. 
What? But I don't think it's good enough overall. The heck? Oh, she's, she's seven. seven. I was she's about to say... She can attack if there's not another creature, but she does, Ooh. and this is the big part, Ooh. remove a creature Ooh. from the game. She exiles a creature, but the, the break, the, like, I was like, ooh, that's actually very good, and I looked at seven, that's not, no, that's too much. She, bear in mind, you're getting a 5-5 five, five flyer that does that's kill almost, creatures. That's almost never going to matter, though. <laughs> it, it will. I think this card could make it. I think it is, it's not super amazing, but it's really good overall. Mm -hmm. All right. Next. Children. Children is... I want to say no. I like, want to say no. It's not a card she's, that... I've seen, seen her enough that she's not impressive, impressive but she, she does, does work. work. Like, it's... I've seen her enough where she dies when she comes out, because if, if you don't kill her, the game just gets out of hand. But you want her in the deck, you don't want her as the general. Yeah. She is better in your graveyard than in your command. But she's still she is still good to have access to all the time, like Micaeus. Yeah. If you can't put a better commander in the slot, this is the one you should. Or if you just don't want to have another commander, shielded. Like, what if somebody likes shielded? They like a. Uh, they like whatever. Shielded every turn and reanimating a shielded every turn. Whatever it is. Shielded stays in play. Uh, what, is she, what would she be? I forgot from Starcraft. The Zerg. Yeah, there you go. If they're, if they're, yeah, if they're like if they like the Zerg, then they would play her. Yeah. This dude I thought was interesting. Uh, yeah. This is the card that, uh, that we saw actually in a match before, and it generated an entire deck based on the one-drop guys that... Oh, yeah, that dude. It. I really like the way this works. Um, I mean, you have to protect him with this, whatever. Yeah, but once once it's going, it's going, and it's a lot of fun to to cycle. I'm, try, I'm trying to think about like one power guy other than the the, the Shadowborn Apostle. There's there's quite a few of them. I mean, they're not going to be super good. Um, well, I would just think that this and like Ash Nod's Altar or Phyrexian Altar would be like well, remember, really good. It is at the end of turn, so it's not it's not super abusable, which mm -hmm. means that you're only going to get cards like Blood Pet. I mean, you could get Nag 13, Nag 13 guys. Um, What's... Uh, I'm trying to think. I just, I still don't feel it. Skull Clamp, like, but I think he's, I think he's cool. He's one of, like, build around me. It'd be fun to see him work. Uh, not good. Mm -mm. Four, star, four six, yeah, star like four. Terrible. Star four is not good. Star Fox. Skittles. It's a commander. I hate, I hate, in fact, I think I've said that like a million times before. Githrix is insanely good. Like, is, like, like he puts people away. But, I want to punch you. The problem is that everybody you. sees it coming. Like, I think I've died to Githrix like once. You want me to punch you? But. I mean, I'm not a good guy though. You don't have a lot to worry about. I do like that he's like doesn't really have wings. He just has like the fumes coming off his back. <laughs> Spirit of the Night is so haste flying first strike when attacking pro black. This is the guy that, in my opinion, Trample. he is not necessarily commanderable. Nice. But for those of us that played during this time. Mm -hmm. You want to play Mirage? him because of the flavor. Mm -hmm. You want to play him because Spear of the Night was like a go-to big reanimated guy. Yeah, he looks like the Boogeyman. Yeah, he's scary. It's a scary looking. It's a scary looking guy. He's gonna get. He's gonna get you in the night. But it's not an. It's not, by nowadays not an impressive card. Yeah. Six five for nine. You apply and trample protection of black and eight. Still doesn't necessarily. I was, really someone play makes like a flavor town deck. Yeah. It'd be kind of nice, like all the scary things. The Boogeyman deck, but. Other than that, nah, not really. Stab Whisker. Nope. Because, nope. yeah, no, it's a... Not to cast him, he comes out of the non. Yeah, it's short fang. Toshiro Umazawa. Okay, so hard. I'm going to play you. So much text. It's a card from the very good. Yeah. It is so much text. Wait. It is so weird. You may play an instant from your graveyard. Yeah, if you kill a creature, you can kill another creature. 
Well, no, no, whenever it's put in the, the graveyard, so you don't have to kill, but it's also an instant. So it's like flashback when your opponent's stuff dies. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's not. But only for instance. The card. The now, card if, he was, if, he was, get, if he was blue, it would be blue. Really cool. Yeah, but the problem is that he's black, which they're just going to have kill cards. Right. Maybe you could you could use the two tutors you have that are instant speed. Yeah, that, like, that would be about it. But yeah, at the end of the day, you know. I mean, if you want to put the Jitte on him, it'd be flavorful. <laughs> this guy is so bad. So bad. I'm going to get Forest Walk and then go to. He's the Kimpachi Singir. He just has an eye patch. Seven. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, seven mana. Nope. Sara, the dreadful. This I like her other art. This is a commander. It is not as good as the as the other Gorgon. In my opinion, I feel like the other Gorgon, even from flavor flavor perspective, is better. Mm-hmm. Um, but she's still a nice card if you did want to play with the big removal general that still kills you. Well, uh, but she is in the vein of generals that have tap abilities, and this is a very powerful tap ability because in black, this is like card advantage. And then it also has the can't be regenerated clause, which, like, stops a lot of protected cards, which is really nice. I like her. We got Volrath. Volrath. I didn't know you had a card. Awesome. Being able to pitch things to re- later on reanimate and get bigger. Yeah, this dude is good. With, I like this guy. So good. You can discard, uh, like, she older, he gets plus seven. Yep. And 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 you can do that multiple times. Yeah. So like you attack the first thing you do every turn is attack somebody. And if they don't block, you could probably kill them. This makes the cards that say return creatures from your graveyard to your hand legitimately playable. Mm-hmm. You don't necessarily want to skip all those cards because you want to be able to throw these cards away to hurt your opponent. And you can still regular reanimate them later on. Yeah, and like Oversold Cemetery is yeah. easy with this card. You've got uh but the one where you pay two when you pay life to get a creature back. So you can just, like, get the same thing back and do it, do it again. Yep. I like him. Didn't know he had a card in him. So now. Jaho Dune. A one-eyed. I really like this guy. Um, He's good. Being able to... I mean, you do have to sacrifice him, but you get back the card. Uh, but it is your hand. Um, but it's any black card. But yeah. It's it's not limited. He can so, rebuy tutors. Yep. And if you really want to, like, I know a lot of people really like Shaho Dune, especially because the uh, the video games for some reason I'm drawing a blank on them. But uh, and the storyline of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. So like, there's a re- reason he's ninety dollars. Those because he is good. He is that good where you can rebuy anything in your deck. Easily, easily. It's only four. Yeah. Well, you sacrifice him. Uh, not so much. One? Yeah, no. No, no. I actually remember this card. I, this card, it's so gimmicky. It's just another 5-5-4 five, five, with some sort of ridiculous drawback. At least in this case, the drawback is not necessarily like kill you. Betrayers? Something? Yeah. So bad. Six. So he's got Battle Cry. Yep. He's unblockable battle cry, which is meh. He's a 4 2 for 5, not good. Yeah. Hero of Hefe. And then. No. I mean, it's 6 for a 3 3 that has no evasion. If he had evasion, we yeah, might be talking about the card. But we're not. It's a Silent Spectre esque effect. Yeah. I'll bring one, one thing up for you guys. Right. Yeah, well, we're not going to go there. We're going to save this for just a minute. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, we're going to have something else that Rocco's bringing up for us, and we're going to show mm-hmm. that to you in just a moment. For now, thanks you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. Did so you want to bring up CDC? I have no problem talking about CDC. Are you talking about this? So bring it up, but I didn't want to bring it up on the same video, because we want to try to get all these 